The Manchester School District faces many challenges, including the highest dropout rate in the state and the highest poverty level among students. City Year New Hampshire is working to help change this. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. Joining me is Pawn Nitagen, Executive Director of City Year New Hampshire. Welcome, Pawn. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks for being here. Now, at City Year, you promote a whole child, whole school approach. What is it, and how does it help reduce dropout? Whole child, whole school program is based on research from the John Hopkins University. The research showed that you can identify which students are likely to drop out of school as, as early as third grade wow. based on three key indicators. The ABC, if you would, A for poor attendance, B for disruptive behavior, and C for course failure in math and English. If a student uh, struggling in just one of these areas by the time he or she reached 10th grade, um, they are likely, four times more likely to drop out of high school. So City Year program work with many school districts across the country with teachers and school to help students do better with their ABCs. Wow, those numbers are staggering. So talk mm -hmm. about how City Year works specifically within the schools. So our core members, these young adults, um, are working about 10 hours per day. They start um, before the school start and they end the day basically after they finish their after school programs. During school day, they work with students that really need extra support, one on one, small group, as well as in classroom. Again, really focus on partnering with teacher to help students with their academic improvement as well as their uh, socio-emotional learning. So it's all encompassing. Now who makes up a city year core and how are the students chosen? Our core members are terrific young people from diverse background, and about 70% of them actually came from outside uh, our state, um, California, um, from all you over. name it. Yeah, exactly. And 70% of them are college grad. Um, we have great diversity, about 50% of them are male, 50% of them are female. Um, in our school district, we are really low in terms of diversity as well as uh, gender diversity as well. So our core members um, are diverse, educated, um, passionate young people. Okay, so it's clear what the students in the Manchester school system are able to get from the city or members. But what about the city or members themselves? What kind of experience is it for them? Um, I would say that leadership development um, is what they get out of their year of service. Our core member graduate much more ready to enter the workforce or higher education. Um, example, just from last year, a few of our members went on to work for our corporate partners. These are companies that support us financially, including Comcast. Uh, one went to work for the Lincoln Financial, one went to work for Deloitte. I would say that they also have opportunities to change lives, and this opportunity really help them realize their own power and their own potential to change their own lives change and the lives of people lives. around them. They became much more engaged and active citizens for our communities. That's wonderful. So, Pon, what are the specific indicators, if there are any, that you can give in regards to the city or experience to show that it's working? Certainly positive student data. We saw 90% of the students that we work with improve in their literacy score and 20% of them actually get back on track just in one year. Wonderful. Well, Pond, you guys do such an incredible job. City Year is such a dynamic force. We recognize those red jackets everywhere. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.